All right, how's it going, everyone? Today uh, we are doing a special brew with Bobby and Minka live from our little Tokyo cafe today as part of the delicious, uh, the virtual delicious little Tokyo series. Um, so, uh, in part of this whole month long uh, list of activities and online demos, we are going to do um, a white or a red miso caramel latte. Uh, I'm very excited for this, um, and we're using some some locally made products. Uh, the miso we're using is actually made in Los Angeles by uh, Miso LA. Um, I is one of our favorite people and we are selling our miso at both of our cafes. So this particular latte will only be available for you guys to try at the cafe here. Um, as always with me, I got the Mighty Mighty Miss Minka in the cafe today. Um, and yes, our little Tokyo cafe is open and we are um, takeout only, but you can sit on our patio right now and uh, enjoy a coffee socially distanced. Um, the miso we're using today, uh, I don't know if you can see how beautiful this red color is. It's a very dark, uh, very strong miso. Um, a lot of recipes will use a white miso because it's a bit more mild. This has been fermented for two years, so it really packs an umami punch. Um, and so the question I guess people are going to be asking is, you know, why, why do you use miso instead of, you know, with your caramel? And I would think about miso in the same way you think about salt with your caramel. It adds a bit of that flavor and gives you a little bit of that uh, umami bite, but it's a little more rich and flavorful than just salting your caramel, and so that's kind of how we uh, approach this particular drink. So, um, first we're gonna make the caramel for you guys, and then we'll uh, we'll throw it into our uh, into an ice drink for you. So, um, using an induction cooktop, we're going to add um, let's see here 170 grams demerara. We doubled the recipe today, so it's gonna be 340 grams. I'm going to add some warm water to it. We're going to add uh, 100 grams of hot water here. And then we're just going to cook the sugar down and add the cream and the miso. And you guys, if you have any questions, fire away. It's not our usual setup. Uh, I'm not in my kitchen for once. Nice to get out of the house a little bit, I'll tell you. Also want to send a shout out to Japangelos, one of our other neighbors today. They made this really cool hat, uh, which is covering up my quarantine hair and um, quarantine and new dad hair. Right? Um, let's see what's being made. Uh, so if you're just joining us, we are firing up a white or uh, red miso caramel latte. We're gonna make it ice, and I'm gonna do the home version. Uh, we're gonna make an Aero, uh, Aeropress espresso today. We are using the um, Prismo attachment that goes on top of your Aeropress that gets you as close to espresso as you're gonna get using an AeroPress. And we're going to um, make, a, make our version of a caramel latte, which is words I thought I would never say in my life. So again, we have the sugar and the, um, the water starting to boil off. And once, this, once the sugar's all dissolved and you see it, the caramel start to form, we're gonna add some cream and then a bunch of this miso uh, paste here. Um, again, this, this miso is super, super strong, so you want to use less than what you would normally use if you're making a white miso caramel sauce, just because it's just it's quite a bit um, saltier and more mommy. Unless you like that kind of thing, in which case, go nuts. All right, that's starting to cook off. We're going to start making our espresso. So uh, for those of you who are just joining us, we're going to make an espresso using a Prismo attachment for the AeroPress. Um, I'm going to put 20 grams of coffee in here. Shaker ready. So we're gonna pull, we're gonna pour 50 grams of hot water into here. And we're gonna give it a quick stir and get it ready. In about a minute, we're gonna plunge it. In. All right. While we wait for that to steep, we're going to keep stirring. The caramel. Um, you can see it's already starting to bubble. We're almost ready to add the cream. And guys, if you have any questions, fire away. All right. 
almost ready to add the cream here. Once the sugar is all dissolved, that's when you're going to add your cream and then the miso and just keep stirring and then we'll take it off the heat and let it um, settle for a little bit before we use it. You can use this hot. We're going to make an iced caramel drink just because it's easier and I'm not trying to steam milk at home. Um, once you see it get kind of frothy like this, you're about ready to add the cream. So let's go ahead and add the cream. give that a few stirs before I add the miso in. Is uh, Anita there? Anita is here. For those of you who used to hang out with Anita in Santa Monica, she's now running our Santa Monica, or she's now uh, large and in charge in Little Tokyo. Um, so come say hi to her in Little Tokyo if you guys want to see our uh, good loving Anita. All right, now we're gonna mix in the miso paste. We are adding uh, 80 grams of miso to this, and I'll put this recipe on our blog later today, uh, where you can just come by our Little Tokyo shop and. Um, have tried it live yourself. So this miso paste is thick, so you want to make sure you're really stirring this well into your uh, uh, into the into the mix here, because otherwise uh, it just it's going to be clumpy at the bottom. So I just stir the crap out of this for for quite a while. Um, at this point, our espresso shot's about ready, so we're just going to take the plunger and we're going to plunge right into the shaker because we're going to shake this drink before we pour it over ice and. Guys, can I get some milk, actually? Just a little bit of milk. And we did a whole, um, a whole episode, if you go to our YouTube channel, on how to make um, espresso out of an AeroPress, or check out our blog. But this little Prismo attachment, which we're selling online now, is definitely the closest you're gonna get. Um, you can also get like a jigger. All right, so we got our espresso ready to go. We're gonna get this caramel sauce almost done. Just keep stirring. Keep stirring. The trick to everything in life. Stir it up. And guys, while you guys are watching me stir real boringly, I would definitely make sure you're checking out the delicious Little Tokyo website. Yeah, there's all kinds of demos and fun activities and, and just everything from fish to noodles to there's a whole green tea week, like it's it's awesome. You guys need to check it out. Um, it's a bummer that we're not getting. We're you know normally it's a whole bunch of stuff live and demonstrations that you can do in person. Um, this year they decided obviously because of coronavirus to do it virtually, but it's still pretty cool and it's definitely one of the more unique things in LA. I think to have a, a neighborhood which such a with such a rich culinary heritage, and we are certainly flattered to be a part of that that heritage. And, um, if you're just joining us, we're going to throw this whole thing on YouTube later today. And so um, you can rewatch it, we'll put the recipe on our blog, you can check it out there. And we're, we're right about ready here to um, let this cool down here. So I'm going to take this off the heat and just let it cool. So for, for me, I like, I like a bit more caramel than most people. I think in the shop we're using an ounce and a half. I'm going to put two ounces of this caramel sauce into my drink. Mix it up with the espresso and milk, and then we're gonna pour over ice. Try not to make a mess here. Okay, there we go. Use just enough milk. It. Just give it a little shake to mix up the caramel miso, uh, the miso caramel right there. You know me, everything I do at home is in a mason jar, so why change it just because we're in the cafe? Mason jar this up. And if you're a Starbucks fan and you like your caramel lattes, the way to really top this off is once it, the caramel sauce congeals a little bit and gets a little thicker and more viscous. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> Put it in a squeeze bottle, and we're just gonna squeeze this over the top. Starbucks, eat your heart out. Minka wants some caramel sauce too. Hey, it's okay. So, that is delicious. I do think it's, it's, it's a lot richer, a lot creamier than your standard um, salted caramel sauce. And you just, you get a bit of this umami flavor that you just don't get with salt, and I think it's, it's quite nice. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, 
we're thinking about doing more of these. We, we had expected the quarantine to have been lifted by now. Uh, they were talking about ending the quarantine in June, and it looks like this is going to drag on. So we might do some more brewing with Bobby and Mika at home, or maybe come and do it here in the cafe um, and teach you guys how to make some cool, uh, cool new drinks. Um, in the meantime, please come by our little Tokyo shop, say hi, try um, a miso caramel latte. Uh, and we're doing it hot and ice, although it's scorching hot these days. So this is definitely the cure for. Uh, for a hot day, really can't go wrong with this drink. And um, check out Delicious Little Tokyo for other um, videos like this one. We're, uh, we're, we're all trying to keep this neighborhood vibrant and um, support your local, your local restaurants and stuff like that, guys. Um, I want to thank everyone at uh, LTSC and um, yeah, cheers. I hope everyone's staying healthy and staying safe and we will uh, post this all online for you guys to check out soon. Thanks guys, cheers. Yeah.